Hello, everyone, and wanted to give you an idea about what exciting things are coming up in the world of radiopharmaceuticals. Uh, on Thursday, June 24th at 2.30 Eastern, we will have a session on establishing radiopharmaceutical programs. I think this is going to be a great session, and my co-chair, Dr. Susan Richardson, is going to tell you all about it. Over to you, Susan. Thank you, Navesh. Yeah, this is going to be really exciting. Uh, we have three great speakers. We have a physicist, Dr. Rob Hobbs from Johns Hopkins, talking about the principles of physics and basics of radiopharmaceuticals. We have Andrew Kennedy, Dr. Andrew Kennedy from the Sarah Cannon Research Institute, talking about why radiation oncologists should be involved in a radiopharmaceutical program. And the third speaker is Dr. Michael Fulkert on, from UT Southwestern, talking about unsealed sources and clinical applications. And this is really exciting for us because this is the first time the ABS has had so much time dedicated to radiopharmaceuticals. So this is really going to be a not-to-miss session. Back to you, Navesh. Thanks, Susan. And I also want to bring up that there will be a second session the following day to, as, as kind of a follow-up to what we're talking about now with a more clinical application and bent to it. So this will be on Friday, June 25th at 1.30 p.m. Eastern. And this will be really be about clinical applications of radiopharmaceuticals. And what we will try to do is have uh, a physics rack wrap up, a clinical wrap up, and then go through a tumor board format with where Drs. Kennedy, Drs. Folker, Dr. Hobbs, Dr. Richardson, and myself will be involved in uh, discussing how real life cases um, will go. We will also have some time at the end for question and answers. So we look forward to your participation because why do people really want to participate in this, Susan? Everybody's starting to do these radiopharmaceutical procedures, and there's a lot of questions, and this is a great panel of experts to ask. So come with your questions, and hopefully you'll get a good answer. Yep, and if you can't get an answer from these experts, uh, there probably isn't a real answer. I'm just kidding. There will probably be other people as well, but they are really experts in their field. So we look forward to your participation, and uh, thank you for your time.